Hey guys, it's Brian here. Uh, came to talk to you a little bit about our lineup procedures dealing with adults and juniors, as well as our privates. Um, you're gonna notice obviously a lot of changes that we'll be going over this year um, with spacing and, and all of our COVID protocols. Um, but with our private lessons this year, uh, we changed it to being two hours for all privates, whether it's a three through six year old, seven through 12 or 13 and up. Um, and that also goes for our new family private product too. So all the privates are gonna be put up on our assignment board, which will be right over on our equipment shed there. So you'll be able to see what time you're supposed to check in with the private coordinator and they will kind of inform you on how that lesson's gonna go. This year, for instance, one thing to note um, with the whole COVID chair riding issue, if we do have a private lesson with anybody under the age of six, it is super important to kind of coordinate with the parent to make sure that we do have a, a chair rider with them so they could be nice and safe during the lesson. So as we're kind of coordinating with the private coordinator, these are some things that we'll go over and talk with with the family, as well as things such as, do you have a lift ticket? Have you checked in with our coordinator? Um, and kind of the whole nine yards. We also are gonna be doing our custody cards again, um, just like how we always have been for anybody that is under the age of 18. So if you do end up getting anybody with these cards, just double check and make sure it's filled out properly. Make sure that um, if they are signed out on their own recognizance, you've made a plan to release them to their parents. Or if they do need to check out with a parent or guardian, you kind of make a plan with them where to meet and get those initials on your instructor book, which is also super important this year. We're gonna make sure that all the information gets put onto our instructor book, just like we do in our group lessons. We're gonna do it as well as privates. This is just gonna help with the bookkeeping as well as contact tracing or any of that information we might need this year. So this is the equipment shed where our assignment board will be placed. Um, it hasn't been made yet, so please use your imagination. This is where you'll come in the morning after you've checked in to see what your assignment is for the day, whether it's a group lesson or private, junior mountain, children's center, or adults. It's all going to be posted up here on, the, on a very visible board for you. So please make sure to come check that out. Um, our lineup times this year are going to start at 9.30 in the morning and group lessons in the afternoon will start at 1 o'clock. So make sure you've checked this board before then so you kind of know where to go and you're making a plan on um, when to arrive on time. So there will be a coordinator for adults and juniors both kind of standing out here using social distancing as their keys to kind of help the people be spaced out and check in. Um, as we're on this corridor, you're gonna notice there's gonna be social cues for everybody to wait six feet apart, um, making sure we keep everybody safe and spaced out accordingly. Um, this does get a little tight in here, so with some help with you guys and, and everybody else, we're just gonna try not to really clutter this zone up. So you'll notice nice little areas for you to go, especially whenever you do check in with your coordinator. So one other thing, it's super important to make sure if you do see a guest that they all check in with the coordinator. We're gonna make sure that they have been finalized through reservations, they've had a health screening, and they have their proper lift tickets and everything they need for their lesson in the day. So just make sure if you do see a stranded guest that they all kind of go towards the coordinator and then the coordinator will give you your assignment from there. So let's say you come up to the board and you realize you're on the adults today. So as always, our adult meeting area has kind of flowed up into this area, which we're gonna continue this year. Um, we will have flags spaced out accordingly and it's gonna be separated both snowboard and ski. So as you're starting to get your guests and grouping them up, it is super important once again to be filling out your roster book accurately as well as neatly so we can read it. This is gonna serve as your custody release for anyone under the age of 18. It's also gonna help us uh, with our first round of getting names into the system. So please make sure you're gonna fill out everybody's name properly and know if they need to be released with a parent or guardian or on their own. So once you get this all filled out, you have your group and everything's A-OK. -okay. You're gonna check in with your coordinator, give them your white sheet of your roster book, and then you're free to hit the hill for the lesson. So just like the adults, Junior Mountain is going to be spread out right over here. If you do remember, we have our blue fences that come in along here as a barrier. 
and all spaced out across there is where our juniors are going to be meeting. Same as the adults, there's going to be a ski and snowboard side with their appropriate flags all spaced out. Same thing as you're getting your students, please make sure that we're filling out our roster book correctly. Um, for these kids, obviously they do have a red card you'll need to check. Most of them are needing to be checked out with a parent, so please make sure you note that. And if they are released on their own, please note that as well because you will have to release them on your roster book. Um, but once you get your class full and you have all of your information filled out here, you're going to turn in the white sheet to your coordinator. And then... Hi, buddy. buddy. Hey. And have a fun dog. Welcome to Monarch Mountain. So like I was saying, once you get your group, you're going to make sure everything's filled out properly on your sheet. Hand this to the coordinator and you're free to head to the hill. Your coordinator this year is going to be your right hand man when it comes to breaks, uh, any sort of help with getting kids to the bathroom or using any of our facilities as warming huts. Um, these guys are going to be roving the hill as well so they can help you out in lessons with equipment issues, you name it. So make sure that you know your coordinator and you guys are helping each other out through the day. Let's go see what's happening after your lesson. So welcome to Junior Mountain. Uh, things are gonna look a little different in here this year. Um, it's not gonna serve as a check-in facility like in years past. It's gonna basically be a warming hut slash instructor hangout for the day. Um, the maximum capacity of this building is seven people. Um, you're always gonna have a coordinator around here. So technically only six instructors can really use this spot. But this is one of the areas that we can use to stay out of the public and to basically stay safe and distant. Um, we're gonna have hooks up on the walls for you to hang your stuff. Um, this is also a good place for you to have your lunch or we might actually assign you to have lunch here. Um, but this facility is basically gonna be used for just those things. Um, if you do need to come in for a quick break with your class or to warm up, um, we can fit six or seven people in here, so that's one instructor with the max size of six in the class, so it's perfect for that. But we'll have to take turns and really kind of coordinate with our lineup coordinators in here to make sure we're not overcrowding and we're making everybody feel safe and secure. So once your guys' lessons are over, whether it be in the morning or afternoon, um, this is gonna be a great area to come turn in your roster book at the end. So make sure you will still have your yellow copy that's gonna be what we use to sign out any of our guests that are under the age of 18. Um, if they are signed out with a parent, make sure the parent initials next to their name as so. If they are released on their own, make sure you initial next to their name that you release them after the lesson. And take this yellow copy, and we're gonna turn it into our basket right here. Um, and make sure to do that by the end of your lesson because this will serve as our means of making sure we get our head counts and everything's paid for the day. So once again, thanks guys for bearing with us. Um, appreciate it. And we're really looking forward to an amazing season this year. So thanks.